Welcome back to O3FM. We've partnered with G Fuel, and if you want 15% off your entire order, click the referral link in the top of the description. And if you want 10% off your order, use code O3FM Podcast at checkout. Welcome back to O3FM. I'm Kevin, joined with Jake. What's episode up? Episode 91, and we're done. This is the last episode. We're. Right, Kevin? We're, uh, we're quitting. We're done. Yeah, we're quitting. The TikTok ban's right around the corner. We don't get any views on any other platform, so... The, the comments, you know, they've, they've been getting to us, so I think it's time. It's time we holler at the crib! Hey. <laughs> yeah. we I mean, would we actually quit if TikTok... Like, I, I mean, the joke was that, like, you know, obviously. Also, like, peep the mustache. Oh my fuck. Oh, no curse. All right. Well, um, would we actually quit if TikTok got banned? Like, what would you do if TikTok got banned? I would honestly probably take like a big social media break. I'm not even kidding. Dude, I honestly think it would be so healthy for my mental health. I swear. Yeah, I actually totally agree. I think, yeah, because TikTok's definitely my most used platform. If it was banned, it would be like an eye-opening experience. I'm like... All right, let me go actually enjoy shit. And yeah. I don't know if I told you this, but when I went to upstate New York like a month ago, yeah, I was gone for four days and there was like no Wi-Fi. Yeah, I had like a total of like twenty minutes of screen time a day. Yeah, and it's like the healthiest I've ever been in my life. Yeah, bro, for real. Well, I, so honestly, most people will probably just like rotate into YouTube or like Instagram Reels. I mean, Instagram Reels is absurd. Me and Kevin yeah, have a group little... chat with one other person and we are not going to talk about it, but it is insane. <laughs> yeah. If TikTok gets banned and you go to Instagram Reels, you there's a spot reserved for you in hell. Low-key, YouTube Shorts isn't even that bad, but it's just like, I don't know. I and pr- I probably would, as would most people, but... I will give a benefit of the doubt to those two apps because... Like, you go on TikTok, you're like, okay, let me go on Instagram or YouTube. You go on for 10 minutes, it doesn't have that algorithm. Like, TikTok, if you use it all the time, like, it's got your algorithm down to, like, a fine toothpick. Yeah, bro. Precision. TikTok is so yeah. sharp. So sharp. Yeah. Um, so, if, like, if you don't go on YouTube that much, like, you're obviously going to get, like, shitty content. Yeah. Do you do you think it's going to get banned? <sighs> That's a really good question. Yeah. And obviously, we don't know, but, like, speculation. And I don't know. I feel like it's too big of a product. Because isn't it if someone in the United States buys it, it's fine? Exactly, yeah. Um. Okay. I feel like they wouldn't let it, like, slip through their fingers. Yeah. And they, someone would buy such a big money product. Yeah. But I have no idea. Yeah, I, 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 straight, think? Up, I straight up don't think it's going to get uh, banned. I think they're going to, like... I mean, obviously, the it's like Bit Dance or Bite Dance, whatever. It's like the parent company. I think, you know, they a majority of their fi- like base. I was about to say fan base, users. Thank 170 you. 170 million users are from the United States. Yeah, it's absurd, and so you know they're not going to give that away. So, but they're they're not going to sell the entire company to a U.S. based company. It's the, it just wouldn't make sense because they yeah. they still want to make profit. So. I don't know. I, I just don't think it's going to get banned. I I know um, not like a crazy amount about it, but just from what I've heard and uh, seen, it doesn't Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's going to get banned. Yeah, but uh, you never know, because if you don't know, then you don't know. Yeah, but um, speaking of internet type things, Reddit, which we talked about last episode, like Reddit scouted it or whatever, um, Reddit just IPO'd. Wait, you don't know an IPO. Actually talk about that? What? I do not remember us talking about that at all. Not, not. We we just talked about Reddit in general, like being goaded. What what episode? Like recently. I it's the one I edited. Okay, that's probably why I know nothing about it. Yeah, but um. Anyways, Reddit IPO'd, which basically means it went public on the um stock market. So. For the more nerdy stuff, it's like, I think it, yeah, I put IPO'd on New York Stock Exchange, um, and it's, it's trading under the, the symbol RT, RDDT, um, so I don't know, it's kind of, it's kind of interesting, I feel like, it's weird, it's weird when something like that goes public, like, I know, obviously, well, technically, like, Instagram and Facebook 
our republic because it's through meta but it's still like weird i don't know yeah i feel, and I feel like red has such like a niche audience yeah like no one not everyone like everyone has facebook everyone has instagram not everyone just has reddit yeah yeah i i feel so. like i feel like it is becoming more increasingly popular though over t- over time yeah def- i think it's like i probably said in the clip that i don't remember i think it's an amazing platform um, platform yeah it's like instead of following 10 million instagram accounts you can follow 100 yeah that has its own users that post stuff yeah yeah no it is cool it's definitely unique but it says it ipo'd at 34 dollars a share and it, today it jumped up to like 60 dollars imagine you caught that oh, shit yeah the cut the calls bro the calls would have been insane we would have been printing but i was just gonna pull up yo but jake put up the stock price now it closed at um around like 50 bucks not bad still pretty good yeah 48 yeah it topped out at about almost 60 bucks today so yeah not bad i mean and it also says um reddit and selling shareholders raised about 750 million from the offering it's actually insane damn yeah i know like that's that's big money that's absolute big money yeah, that's big boy talk so i don't know i normally after products like and, and like apps ipo they do poorly so i i honestly think it's gonna do poorly but we'll see <laughs> like phase <coughs> yeah um what was i gonna say oh yeah, yeah really quick i just wanted to address somebody in the comments mentioned like i, I don't know what we were talking about there but they were like grown-ass men talking about x y and z we're literally 21 and 20 respectively just be- i turned 21 <laughs> exactly a month ago oh by the way i have your we- gift it's a month late but i have your gift Oh, shit, thank you. <laughs> it's a month fucking late, bro. <laughs> yeah, people think we're, like, 40. Yeah, Like, no. even the Wentworth brothers, like, bailed out when they found out how, like, yeah, we were kids. <laughs> we were both college students. They wanted to fight us. <laughs> we were in high school yeah. at the time, I think. Or no, yeah. no, no. Or, like, the year after. Or yeah. two years after. It's because of stash, bro. Because I'm just I, so handsome. I went into an alcohol store with, with someone who just turned 21. Um, and... They didn't. They didn't even card either of us. I mean, I didn't buy really? anything. I didn't buy anything. I was literally just standing there watching the person. But yeah, they didn't even card either of us. Because normally, if you're not 21, like you shouldn't go in with them. Because sometimes they'll card you yeah, too. Yeah, they card everyone. Because yeah. they think that you know they're buying. But I didn't get carded, bro. The stash, the confidence. I think. Anyway, I honestly think I ordered alcohol like five times. Really? <laughs> in the last two weeks. And I think I was cart. I wasn't carted like twice. Do you want to talk about your the uh, airport thing? Oh yeah. So like I just said, I turned 21 like a month ago, and I'm not a huge drinker, but I was at um, the airport, and we there was a five hour damn delay for my flight. So I was bored, just wanted to kill some time, just walking around, and somehow I stumbled across a bar, and I, I had no idea what to get. And my one friend just pointed me like the simplest thing like a mixed drink like a cocktail and my first ever legal drink was my first ever drink was <laughs> my first ever drink was in an airport it was a i'm a cursing for this it was a fucking malibu bay breeze and it was 20 dollars. what's in that what's in that bro it's like malibu orange juice and like one other thing okay it's beat as hell if i knew what malibu tasted like i i would probably think it's good Oh, yeah. It's, like, coconut flavored. Oh, really? It's good with Sprite. Oh. Why are you winking? I can't. I'll tell you after. Okay. Um, But, yeah, I mean, it it personally sounds good just based on what you told me. It was good, but, I don't know, I think that's kind of, like, the worst first drink ever. Are we allowed to talk about this ton of shit on TikTok? Like, I don't even know. I have no idea. I literally don't know. We'll find out. It's probably fine. It It was the worst thing. And you paid, wait, how much? $20. $20. I have the receipt in my wallet. I held on to it. <laughs> Wait, actually, let me get it. I'll prove it. Kevin, I'm sorry, but that is criminal. Dude, I didn't even know until he handed me the receipt. I was like, what? Yeah. That is actually criminal. Oh, my God. And they purpose... Yeah. They purposely don't put the prices. Oh, wait. I'm going to wait so your camera picks it up. Because oh, it, it, it's just going to be like me talking. Hear me. <laughs> yeah. Wait, is it even- Bro, we, we get us. We could screen sh- like screen record Dude, and then just take that it's audio. It's not even in my wallet. Like, whatever. 
I know it is for the for this receipt. No, no, you're fine. But airports, bro. Actually, the biggest scam. I mean, I talked about this when I talked about my cheap flight, but I genuinely, the one time, paid more for food than I did on the flight. Dude, I totally understand. Like, it's we went to Shake insane. Shack, yeah. and it was, like, absurd. All right, yeah. wait, let me make sure my credit card number is on this. Like, Shake Shack normally would be, like, what, $15? It's, like, it's probably 30 in the airport. It's Because they, they know you're going to buy it. It's insane. It's insane. Okay. If it focuses, it says bar somewhere. I'll show you. It says bar somewhere up there. Okay. I don't know AM bar. It. it says it right. Yeah, AM bar. I don't want to get my Amax in frame. Damn. 1994. Did you leave a tip? Yeah, like five bucks. Oh my god, so a $25 drink. Yeah, that's absolutely insane. That is worst, crazy. Worst purchase of my life. Wow. Well, now you can make it back blackjack because you can play legally. Okay, I mean, play. Just play. Um. All right. Uh, did you want to talk about the Apex stuff? I know that was. Speaking of playing, I don't know too much about the topic. I'm just gonna be blunt and say that. So take all this information with a grain of salt. But I want to say, like last week, there was an Apex Legends tournament, and um, relaying this information that a friend told me through it. Like, he told me about what happened. I guess, like, there were two players, and right about at the same time, like, one guy started shooting at someone else, and his bullets went, like, way off and were hitting something. And then, like, the same thing, like, a mod menu popped up on another player's screen, and, like, the whole lobby just crumbled. And then they, like, the stream, whoever streams, like, the Apex tournaments, had, like, a BRB screen go up. And they tweeted out or sent a message a couple minutes later saying that, like, there's a massive, um, I don't want to say, like, it didn't say, like, a massive hack issue. Like, there's like an a massive issue going on. Yeah. With, like, a mod menu attack. So the tournament is being postponed or whatever. Wait, and wait. It so was it? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, we'll ask your question. You go. You can finish. You go. I was just going to say, was it somebody in the game? No, apparently it's, like, a 14-year-old kid who hacked into, like, um, Damn. all of EA or something like that. Because people were blaming easy anti-cheat. Because, like, a, there was, like, a thing where if you open any game with easy anti-cheat, which I, this might actually still be the truth, it immediately downloads the virus onto your computer. <laughs> like, it's horrible. And everyone was blaming easy anti-cheat, and they're like, no, it's not us, it's EA. So, like, if you opened any... This could be, this could be wrong. I'm just, like, relaying information right now. Yeah. I don't know if anyone even knows, like, the full story. Cause you kind of don't know what's gonna happen until you find out yeah yeah but like if you open any ea game you could get like the virus installed on your computer but i guess like a ea employee was fired like a week before and there's like speculation that he helped the kid get into the servers that's insane it's like his kid and, <laughs> yeah it's like and some son. people were saying like oh the apex players were just they're just cheating and they got caught but that's no. crazy yeah so it's all kind of up in the air yeah it's like a big Big iffy situation. That's a big mess. Yeah. Sorry, this is a little unrelated, bro. I forgot Apex Legends was still a game. <laughs> it's such a minuscule, insignificant game ever. I used to love Apex. I'm not gonna lie. I just haven't played it more recently. Just haven't. I have fun. nothing against the game, but yeah, I just haven't played it in so long. Way better than PUBG now. <laughs> yeah, it actually, it probably is. I used to play. Well, I think R Radical Heights is probably better than PUBG. <laughs> I thought that was the bread and butter of the video game world. Um, but, uh, alright, do you want to talk about the, the ninja shit? Okay. I know you know a little more about this. Ninja is still dragging on the low taper fade meme. Invertedly. <laughs> Invertedly. Are, yeah, he is now talking about, he's actually getting pressed, and he actually doesn't want to talk about it, but he keeps talking about it. I'm just fine. <laughs> He's saying that people are taking old clips of him, s talking about the meme, putting it over new gameplay, <laughs> and reposting it to get more views. So Ninja talked about a meme that was made about him. Mm -hmm. People then talked about him making the meme, made clips of him talking about the meme, and then made clips of him dragging on the meme, mm -hmm. and then kept making clips of him talking about the meme, dragging on the meme, and now people are making clips of Ninja... Hating on people that are dragging on the meme. Okay, 
And this is kind of funny because we kind of contributed to this. <laughs> oh, 100%. <laughs> we just had a video do, what, 2 million, I think. Yeah. Or 1.9 million. And it's literally us talking about how he's dragging it on. And in turn, we're just simply dragging it on by yes. talking about him dragging it on. <laughs> But I will put it out there, Tyler Ninja Blevins, I apologize. I was not aware people were re-uploading old videos. That is my is my duty as a podcaster to research. And I just I don't think I've ever researched anything for this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so I apologize. Yo, and pe- I'm at fault. People in the comments were hating on us, like you guys don't actually like Ninja. It's like, bro, we knew him before he exploded. Yeah, like, if you watch the actual podcast, we literally glazed him for did, ten minutes. Didn't you kill him in PUBG or was that Shroud? That was Shroud. Oh, that's Shroud. Not yeah, the boast. Yeah, we. If you watch the full episode, we literally we did glaze for a little bit. Dude, I was subbed to him for like eight months. Yeah, bro, me too. In like 2018. Yeah, like 2017. for real. So people, people, people went crazy in those comments. I mean, that happens either way. You get a video that blows up, but it's like sit down. But that's funny. And then we're in turn by making this clip. We're yeah, dragging, we're it, dragging on. it on. <laughs> Maybe it's just gonna be an infinite cycle. Until the meme comes back, the guy comes back yeah. with the song. Is Ninja like actually mad or is he like joking about it? He, I th- he actually seemed depressed in the video. I'm wow. Like, He's like, dude, I don't even want to fucking talk about it. Wow. <laughs> All right. Um, you wanted to, I know you, you had talked about like skills and trying to master them. Okay. Well, actually, I want to bring up this one first before okay, I yeah. forget it because I don't bring it down anywhere. You sit down at school, you sit down at your desk, at home doing homework or maybe you just have to jot something down are you reaching for a pen or a pencil <sighs> or wait no that's no, 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 never mind okay okay so wait we're at, we're at school wait paint the picture we're at school you're either there's two different pictures say you're d- sitting home and you're taking paper I, probably a lot of people choose like typing notes but yeah for the sake of this let's, let's just say you're, right. sit, you're sitting at your desk either at school or at home you have to go write something down for a class. Or are you grabbing a pen or a pencil? Which one is better? Bro, oh, I I always give you this answer, and it's such like a bad answer, and it depends because it does. But I'm gonna say like maturing is going for the pen. I go for the pen, baby. Really? And okay, like I'm okay. gonna sound like a nerd, but bro, I've gotten into the art of pens, and pens are different. Like if you get a good pen, it's life changing. You need one that doesn't bleed it it dries quickly and it, it doesn't put out too much ink so it dries quickly and writes smooth if you have all those like i don't know where my backpack is but i have a pen i love i only use pens unless i'm like i unless i know i'm gonna be erasing only pens w pen okay that's a good answer that's a good answer yeah i'm gonna have a technical answer if i had to pick one just because I'm the world's worst speller, mm. I'm going with a pencil. Yeah. I'm just too lazy to buy erasable pens. I feel yeah. like those are the most, like, those are up there with the wheel and fire, erasable pens. You think erasable pens are good? Yeah, why? You don't like them? I hate erasable pens. Well, the, the concept of them. I'll tell you why. I don't, I don't know if they're good or bad, but, yeah, just because my spelling is really bad, and I have horrible handwriting, so sometimes, like, I don't even know what I'm writing... I have to erase it. But if I... I will say I'm a huge fan of if you're taking notes that involve subcategory... What the fuck? Sorry. My phone just like If you have a header and then subtext, header or the category in pen and then sub notes and text to break up... It's like bolding. Wait, in pencil document. you mean? No, like say I'm, do, I'm taking notes on categories 5, 6, and 7. I'll write 5, blah, blah, blah in pen. Yeah. And then I'll take the notes for that category in pencil. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's almost like bolding a header on oh, a document. That's tough. To that's break tough. It up. Yeah. Um, I just think like, bro, maturing is using a pen. And also to talk about erasable pens. I think I have no clue. It was it might have been seventh grade. Seventh or eighth grade. I had a teacher. It was like a science class. And you had to write up your uh lab reports oh wait no that means it was in high school it must have been high school freshman year yeah it was freshman year or sophomore year then um you had to write up lab reports in pen but the teacher recommended using erasable pens because 
like like you would literally get points off if it was in, if it was in pencil. Had to use pens. Damn. And of course, you don't want to mess up because they didn't like when you messed up. Like they were, you know, they were strict. And so I was using erasable pens for a while. And don't get me wrong, like the idea, the concept of it is cool, but a erasable pen is not the same as a pen. Like they're they're different. Like yes, it is a pen, but it just it feels different and it looks different. And also. When you press on the paper, I personally press really hard with pencils and pens. Um, when you press on the paper with an erasable pen and then you erase it, the imprint is still there, almost as if it's embossed in the paper. So it's like, it's not even that successful. Whatever. Damn, good answer. Yeah. Good aim, good aim. Good aim, good. But, all right. Master skill? Okay, if you can master, and I'll just fucking cut the chase. If you can master any skill, what skill is it? <sighs> any skill, like any skill in the world? Yeah, why not? I'll make it impossible. The broadest question ever. What were you gonna say? What do you mean? Like, like, what, were you gonna make it specific? I didn't at all? think about it. Oh, okay. I was just like any like skill a human can in develop. the world. I, I mean, like in a world. I'm gonna. This is kind of like a bad answer, but I'm going to say day trading. Dude, I was going to say the same thing. That's like an infinite money glitch. I was going to say the same thing. Really? Anything that involves trading, yeah, because it's it, just money. If you have ever long-term invested, short-term invested, like day traded, options, futures, like penny stocks, you know it's difficult. Like, it is not easy. <laughs> Coming from Tim and I, it is not easy. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I think like day trading because, I mean, that's basically... Again, infinite money glitch. But I'm not going to lie, like... Oh, wait, did you want to say anything about that? I was, I was just saying the same thing. I feel like it's, like, the easiest way. Like, you could say, like, cybersecurity, but then you have to, like... It's like a job. Like, you yeah. can wake up for 20 minutes and then trade and then just go back to bed or something like that. I feel like that's, like, the simple... Truly, like... Well, in terms of getting money from one spot to your account... Yeah. Or your name, your bank account, trading is, like, the easiest way to do that. Yeah, I agree. But but you have to be so incredibly good at it, so I think that's why it's such... Yeah, like, if you have a 100% win ratio, like, that's what... That's the mastering level we're getting to. Yeah, I mean, that's, like, near impossible, but... You yeah. know. Um, but I'm gonna say, like... And this is gonna sound weird. I'll try to explain myself. Honorable mention is low-key, like, archery or something. Because <laughs> I just think that's, like, so dope. Imagine like Daryl Dixon? Just being able to absolutely rip it like every time i just think that would be sick as fuck and we haven't cursed that much this episode um i would i just think it would be so sick and like having that you know random party hack type skill <laughs> it's just like cool you guys want to see my party trick i Pulls mean out a long bow <laughs> i'm not talking about like an, at an actual party it's just like you know a reference but yeah do you have any honorable mentions card tricks oh Bro, like, people that do, like, those cool magic, like, card tricks, like, that's, that just popped in my head when you were talking about, like, party tricks. I feel like that'd be so, I've, I'm always so amazed by people that can, like, fold cards through their fingers and stuff like that. Yeah, it is pretty crazy. Um, that's fire. I think that, I think we're good. That was seven? Yeah. I was counting, trust. No, shot. Yeah, it was seven. Okay, it's your episode, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. All right. Damn, I, how long is that? That was like 25, uh, 25 minutes almost. Oh, yeah, 25 minutes. But, 30. I mean, that's it. Thank you again for watching. That's it. What can I say? If you watched to the end, um, never quit. Always keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I pointed to the flag. Unless you're a criminal. A criminal? Yeah, then you should quit because that's against the law. Oh, or if you're broke, quit. <laughs> or if you're smoking. Quit. Yeah, quit. But um, I don't, I don't know. Or if you're thinking of starting a podcast, quit. Don't. <laughs> don't quit. Trust me, bro. Podcast equipment should be like a billion dollars. Like, we have to make clips with that one day. Yeah, we should. Um, but all right, thank you, thank you for watching. Code O three FM podcast zero three FM podcast at gfuel.com. Yeah, what he said. <laughs>